The local government in El Nido, Palawan, has been given six months to take down establishments that are too close to the shoreline. The DNR discovered that the LGU used a different basis regarding the easement zone. Shaila Francisco has the rest of the details. The crackdown on airing establishments in El Nido, Palawan in March has reaped very noticeable results. Yung talaga, organized siya. Compare noon, paggabi, mas okay na siyang umupo sa gilid or whatever. Tourists can now enjoy wider shorelines and clean beaches after establishments voluntarily demolished structures that were standing too close to the sea. These were the ones found violating the three-meter easement rule set by the local government. The rest were removed by authorities. But the interagency task force isn't done with the cleanup just yet. From just three meters from the shoreline, the interagency task force plans to extend the easement to up to 20 meters. In case that happens, all these structures and establishments will be removed. The extension of the easement zone, the task force explains, could be a consequence of misinterpreted laws. Environment Secretary Roy Simato says establishments should at least be 20 meters away from the shoreline for tourist destinations like El Nido. But the local government only set 3 meters for the easement zone. Hindi tama yung interpretation about the easement here because it is not really the easement. It is only a ano, sa river bank ito. Eh. Mga, normally, mga water... What, water, water code yun eh. Sa tingin ko, nagkamali yung DNR doon sa pag-interpret uh, noon ng ano. So, yun, uh, I'm very sorry to say that. In-apply nila yung water code na which is 3 meters. So, yung DNR naman, ginawa yung, uh, yung kanilang pagbigay ng patent, titulo sa mga recipient yan ng title. Pagbukas itong tourism destination, nandun na sila. The task force has yet to discuss how to properly implement the easement law. But they are already expecting some pushback from landowners who will be affected by the change. May legal na usapin yan at saka may mga titled yung mga properties doon. The polluted Kabigzig River also caught the attention of Secretary Simatu. The local government suspects that household waste is being dumped into the body of water that flows directly into the sea. Coliform levels and the water now stand at 1,300 most probable number or MPN, 13 times the acceptable limit of just 100 MPN. Mayor Nieves Rosento has already laid out plans to address the problem. Ng, uh, ak kasi diyan po yung pinaka main nag uh, access po ng mga tubig going out to Bakwet Bay. Uh, uh, Siya po, dalawa lang po yung aming outflow po, outpour okay, yung okay. ano po. So ano, treat the outfall. Yes, of course. Uh, if you ano, you treat the outfall. Kung yes. saan nagagaling yung outfall at i-treat ninyo yan. Ha? Balik Because, po sa lugar na yung secretary, magkakaroon po kami ng isang treatment facility. Yes, yes. Kasama po. The task force also wants the local government to set rules for docking boats in the sea. A lot of work remains to make El Nido compliant with environmental laws, but the interagency task force sees no need to shut down the tourist destination like what happened in Boracay. The FAS agreed that El Nido will not be closed, but only those that are um, yung mga pasaway na ayaw sumunod sa batas ang masasara. LGU has been very responsive, so really, we really will not go for closure. The task force has given El Nido to local government six months to improve the current situation. From El Nido, Palawan, Shaila Francisco, we are One News.